Hey, good morning. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Austin. I'm the owner of Kraken Junk Removal. We're Tri-Cities number one top choice for junk removal and home cleanout. So uh, we're going to be doing a little day in the life video of a junk hauler. So these are some of the things that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. So as you can see here today, we're starting it off right, yes, by doing a tire removal. Uh, we had a nail in the tire the other day. Uh, I think we got it at the landfill. It's where we usually get them. And so <clears throat> I thought it was just a leak at first. So filled it up maybe about a week ago. Didn't really need it for a few days. Came back the other day because I needed to use the trailer and saw that it was flat again. So I did a little bit of a deeper inspection upon the tire and found the nail right at the bottom and so yeah we had to get a jack luckily i got this one on a job so i didn't have to pay for it which is nice but yeah i had to make a trip up to ace hardware to get a socket i didn't have the right size got all the way home realized i didn't have the right size adapter well i kind of realized it halfway home i thought maybe i just might have the right size adapter but lo and behold i didn't so had to go back to Ace Hardware and get the right adapter. And then yesterday, it got to be late. I said, you know what? I'm not going to mess with this tonight. Let's just get this done next thing tomorrow morning. So here we are getting that tire checked. So normally, we'd hook up the trailer right there and just go to our job. But can't do that today. Got to go to an appointment with my wife. But first, we got to get that Chick-fil-A breakfast. Now, usually I get McDonald's because it's almost on every corner. I'm not a big breakfast person, to be honest. I usually just drink coffee. That gets me through to lunch, but just decided to stop and get some Chick-fil-A. Kind of a relax, enjoy it for a minute. And uh, so, yeah, next stop on the day is, yes, that's right. We got to go to a doctor's appointment. So if you've been following me for any time on my channel, I've been watching at least the last few videos, you know that we're expecting a baby. We're expecting number three on the way. I got a son and a daughter already. We're eight and ten. And uh, yeah, so here we are pulling into the parking lot. Just look at the view of those mountains. Man, it's so bright. Just uh, pulling around. Just wanted to show you those mountains. It looks pretty nice. So here we are about to find out when we're going to have the baby, if it's today, tomorrow, or next week. Well, doctors let us know we're going to go in next Wednesday, so it's going to be, looks like a leap year baby. So here we are now at the job in Bristol, Tennessee. We got this from a realtor who reached out to us. He's uh, remodeling the home inside, going to get it ready to sell. So yeah, we got to get into that garage back there. We got this pile of demo debris to clean up, got that pallet to the right. And then, as you'll see here in just a minute on the inside, it's not a whole lot, but there's a lot of big bulky items. You see, we got a mattress there. We've got this motorized bed. Those things are heavy. If you ever moved one of those, you know. Uh, he got some OBS. Going to be using that for something in the house, I assume. But, yeah, he got these cabinets, this kitchen sink. They're dilapidated, heavy, but, you know, they came apart pretty easy. Uh, we were going to keep them in one piece, but we started to move them and they fell apart. So yeah, we got this table. I don't know what that thing is, but we've got the chairs as well. And that's pretty much it for the downstairs area. Uh, rest of the items, you see, they'll be upstairs. So these stairs now, look at these stairs, are pretty steep. Uh, they had their handrails right there that we thought might get in the way. So we debated about even taking those off. Uh, in here, that room was empty. Uh, this room, they had a kitchen upstairs. Yeah, a kitchen. So we got this refrigerator, and we got that stove. So getting them down those stairs was a little bit of a challenge. Again, those little uh, knobs that the handrail sits on, we thought we had to take them off. We thought they might get in the way. Didn't want to rip anything off the wall. But yeah, in this bedroom, you can see we got a big king mattress. You always have those king mattresses upstairs. Um, and then in this bedroom, it was empty. So here we are making our way to the back. Yeah, I got to watch out for that dog poop on the ground um so we just had to go around the uh, house to the back he has this outdoor garage that had some junk in it luckily it wasn't super full but still you're dealing with a lot of dirty stuff um especially in a place like this we got a pallet we had to get all that wood off the ground but we used it to keep everything down on the trailer had a little uh, washing machine in there so we got some uh, another box spring, cardboard, 
And that's pretty much it for there. But you can see this is the walk from that garage. So we were able to pull the vehicle uh, to the back. So we worked on the house first, got all that stuff loaded up. And then we went to the back of the house and got that garage all taken care of. And then lastly, we came and picked up this demo debris. We just threw it in on top. But yeah, as I said, most of the stuff came out pretty easy. It was only a few hours. This job didn't take too long. Had a lot worse. So overall, it was a nice job. And you can see here, we thought about just taking it down on one piece. But we said, let's see what happens. Boom. Fell right to the ground. It started to already break apart. So that cut down on space in the trailer, actually. Saved us some room. Got rid of those chairs. Again, the name of the game is saving space. When you only got so much space, you got to make the best with what you have. You got to cram stuff in there. Uh, and so, yeah, we're uh, now pushing this big mattress down the stairs. It wouldn't go down in one piece or in without bending, I should say. We tried to just push it down normally, but we had to fold it up. Yeah, we had to watch for these little handrails. They were getting caught all the time on there, but almost fell right there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, on this refrigerator, we took the doors off just to be safe to make sure they didn't hit those handrails. And, uh, at first we actually put the refrigerator on the dolly and thought about strapping it down and wheeling it down the stairs. But then we thought about it, we got it close to the stairs and we said, you know what, let's just lay it down on a blanket so that's what we did. We put a little uh, painter's cloth down, and we just slowly let it slide down the stairs. Went down pretty easy. Just had to watch those handrails again. And so here we are just going through the upstairs showing you everything's all cleaned out. All the junk is removed. Nothing's left behind. Bathroom's clear. And so now we can make our way downstairs and get everything else out. And uh, we pulled the grill out from the back patio. We didn't want to have to carry it through around the side of the house down those little stairs off the deck and everything so it just made more sense to bring it through the house and man as i started to pull this thing the wheels came off so it was a day with wheel problems but put all the metal in the van part and then we put all the uh junk in the trailer as you can see there a little bit so I was debating of just letting this thing fall to the ground, but just wanted to show you guys what we had in the trailer so far. So we did end up putting that stove from the garage in here, and we threw a lot of the debris uh, that was on the front lawn in there, and some of the junk right here went in the trailer. But uh, the customer, yeah, wanted to keep those uh, closet doors that you see there in the corner right there. And... Uh, yeah, this took maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, as you can see, cleaned up pretty nice, got all the wood off the ground, put all the hazardous waste in those closet doors to the side, and uh, here's the trailer, here's everything we got. Like I said, we're throwing in uh, some of that wood there on the side. We'll put that on top of the cardboard, keep it down, don't want anything flying out, but yeah, we got it all in the trailer, we got all the metal as I said earlier, we got all that in the van. So that pretty much takes care of this job. Overall, we were in and out in a matter of three hours. But we got one more job tomorrow. But I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in. If you stay with me this long, I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.